Baby, DJ Screw, Future, Juicy J, Gucci Mane, Justin Bieber, Sean Kingston, and the list can go on and on. What do these musicians all have in common, you may ask? Well, they're all popular and relevant artists who have heavily promoted the consumption of lean in their music. And what is lean exactly, you might be asking. Well, if you live under a rock in the bikini bottom with Patrick fucking Star, and you never heard of the liquid known as lean, aka dirty sprite, aka that purple drink, aka that scissor, lean is a concoction of medicinal liquids such as codeine and promethazine and cough syrup mixed with typically sprite or fanta also adding candies hard candies such as jolly ranchers for more flavor in the drink but most times nowadays i don't really see people adding in hard candies i think that just became a corny thing i i believe but that's usually typically what you'll see Lean seems to have originated in the greater Houston area during the 1960s whenever blues musicians would take Robitussin and mix it around with beer. I don't know about you, but that shit sound mad disgusting. I don't even know what the hell. How junky do you have to be to mix Robitussin with fucking beer? You need help. But later on down the line, when wine coolers came into the market, they then became a substitution for the beer as they seen obviously the wine is a bit sweeter so it's probably going to mix better. These blues musicians were thought to have lived in Houston's 5th Ward, 3rd Ward, and South Park neighborhoods. Listen, I personally live in Houston and if my car stopped in any one of these hoods, I'm calling 911 instantly. If my tire flat, I'm not calling AAA. Fuck AAA. I am calling 911, my nigga. Simple. You come to Houston to visit, keep your ass in the suburbs. Stop trying to be a city girl, nigga. It's not Miami. It's not one of those cities for real. This practice of mixing a medicinal syrup with a soft drink to add flavor would then be taken up by the new booming generation of rappers growing up in the same parts of the city as these older blues musicians. In the 1980s and 90s, the formula then changed from Robitussin and wine or beer, if you were still a dirty ass nigga, to codeine promethazine, you know, cough syrup with a new upgrade in ingredients, there then becomes the better side effects for users, you know? I don't know what man figured that out, but bless him, even though he made the shit worse, God bless him, because niggas was drinking Robitussin and beer, bro. Imagine mixing your drink in a fucking Corona or Miller Lite. Do you understand how disgusting that sounds? Due to its ability to relieve pain and provide a sense of euphoria, when the codeine and cough syrup becomes morphine, this chemical binds to the nerves that sense pain, blocking that pain signal. We have to remember, this drug is an opioid, and an opioid, an opioid, bruh, listen up, an opioid is highly addictive, one of the most highly addictive drugs out there. And it makes sense because you got to be an addict to drink Robitussin out of beer. Anyways, Lean remained a city phenomenon in Houston until the 1990s when a rapping legend and genre bending artist, DJ Screw, continuously mentioned the drug in his mixtapes, which were extremely admired in the Houston area. If you know anyone from Houston, then you know everyone has that respect for DJ Screw no matter where you're from, the north, the south, the east, the west. Everyone respects DJ Screw the same way because he put on for the city. And so, to come down here and ever feel like you could dis disrespect man, just know that's not what it, that's not what's about to go down down here. Niggas will ride or die about DJ Screw. Simple as that. DJ Screw's music was a perfect audible depiction of Houston's climate. DJ Screws implementing the use and consumption of lean in his lyrics went perfect with his chopped up and screwed slow temples of music, which was even distinguished as if the songs he made themselves sounded like an audible version of the drink itself. From there, DJ Screw put lean on the map causing for the drug to rapidly grow from the 1990s even to this day for real becoming 
popular with musical artists who then push it onto their impressionable fan base, causing for teenagers to try it themselves. For example, in a popular case, Juice World. Juice World admitted to Future himself that Future was the reason he started sipping lean and he became an addict, which caused for Future to feel some way it saddened him because that's in that's a battle he's going through with the drink and he's trying to express in his music yet it looks like a positive even though he's trying to show how much of a negative effect it's had on his life this rise in the consumption of lean caused for the dea to increase their buzz involving syrup across the southern united states mainly in texas and florida as of 2024 the price of lean in houston honestly honestly all over the u.s has doubled in price and continuously goes up and up and if you don't know already to inquire the codeine it has to be prescribed and it's illegal to have without prescription which makes it scarce scars whatever the fuck you want to say in some places which causes for the prices to be even higher getting that bougie lean and i want you to remember this is an opioid one of the easiest forms of drugs to get addicted to like i said earlier it's so quick for the user to develop a dependency for the drug and with that comes an increased tolerance which ultimately causes for the user to drink more and more and more just to obtain the feeling they so desperately desire from it while all this sipping of lean is happening though your body slowly self-destructing your breathing rates become more shallow and slow once breathing stops and the brain is no longer receiving life-sustaining oxygen bruh it only takes six minutes for a person to be declared brain dead a person can quickly go from the occasional drinking of lean to then making it a daily habit and then to severe medical consequences including coma or death in just a few years and unfortunately for dj screw he lost a battle with lean on november 16 2000 dying from a codeine overdose and it's sad he was only 29 and was creating a revolutionary style in the growing landscape of hip-hop that was never seen before him or done correctly quite like him since and i'm even more devastated because of the news with big mo who is a dj screw prodigy and to be a prodigy to someone and see how they passed and it's no knowledge it's so sad that years later at the age of 33 on october 14 2007 after suffering a heart attack that left him in a coma many speculate that lean had a contribution to big mo's death because of how much big mo would obsess over it bro would like be rapping plenty of lines such as can't nobody sip more than mo yo it's big mo drink baby and he even named his album city of syrup in purple world this liquid that is highly addictive doesn't just affect rappers but also celebrities game and athletes such as former oakland raiders quarterback jamarcus russell who had a lengthy history with lean if you know jamarcus russell bro and you're an nfl fan then you know the reason he was gaining all that weight after he was drafted was because of the drink and he even had a problem with it after being out of the league getting arrested in 2010 for possession of coating syrup without a prescription and i believe people consume this drink and don't really understand what exactly is being done to them throughout time sure for those 45 minutes to an hour you feel euphoric and great but in the long run bro your blood pressure decreases you develop shortness of breath you gain hallucinations loss of coordination loss of inhibition which actually causes for people to form risky behaviors like for example sean kingston who is reported for stealing lean from plugs and even desperately begging for some lean from other plugs he hasn't robbed yet destroying his whole reputation and turning him into a meme We've even seen already you can overdose, but you can also gain brain damage and organ damage. Organ damage was a key component to the passing of popular Chicago rapper and cousin of legend Chief Keef Fredo Santana, passing away in 2018 after having a seizure. According to doctors, Fredo was suffering from kidney and liver problems, ultimately being from the abuse of lean consumption. And yes, you can also fall into seizures from the drink 
just like rap legend Lil Wayne when he was in Los Angeles and had to be rushed to the ER after suffering a seizure. After getting his stomach pumped by medical professionals, doctors found high amounts of codeine in his system. Like this shit not a joke. This is reality bro. It's great right then and there, but it's gonna come back for your ass. And these are all sad stories that come down to one at the end of the day, death. And as a fan of Lucky, who I've been listening to since 2015, finding him on my SoundCloud suggestion when I had my ex phase, I just wanna say, bro, I hope the best for the man. Cause I've seen the growth and as much as he wanna gaslight himself into seeing he eats a lot and he's just not healthy, we see what it really is by the form of his gut. Not even trying to play around, but like, it's just true. All I hope as a fan is you know him unfortunately succumbing to his double cup as a fan speaking for all the fans bro love you man your music done got us through some hard times and we just want to make sure you straight and healthy but enough with the meat writing if you watch this video this far in i hope i gave you some insight on the world and the people lean has destroyed as much as this shit is hyped up in music today i'm telling you bro these niggas are all drinking it at 19 and 20. Once they're 35, they're gonna see, they're gonna fucking explode from coding. And I mean, hey, do what you want, but I just wanna shed some light and hopefully stop a dumbass from messing up their kidney and liver. And if you got in this far, leave a like, if you like the video, subscribe to the man. Oh yeah, and if you say anything about my chair in the background in the comments bro i'm gonna find you and i'm gonna come touch your ass bro i swear to god i'm gonna see you on the next video i told you we finna be dropping consistently consistent consist consistency and consistently shit <laughs> but it's been your boy zio see you on the next video stay cool bye oh wait no soldier out bye